VCU has gone all season without so much as one positive test, but today they were told that the program had multiple positive tests within the last 48 hours. And Marion County health officials here in Indianapolis deemed it too risky for VCU to take the court against Oregon. We knew about the positives being confirmed today. Um, and we were hoping through contact tracing that uh, we would still be able to play uh, tonight. Um, but uh, obviously that did not happen. But given how, um, how we had a, a few happen within a, a short period of time right now, um, there, there was certainly concern not only for the rest of our team, but uh, for the opponents and, um, uh, and anyone else who would you know, be part of the, of, of the game. And it was devastating. It was heartbreaking. Um, not a lot of no dry eyes. Uh, this is what you dream of as a college player and a coach. And to get it taken away like this is, um, it's just, uh, it's a heartbreaking moment in, in their, in their young lives. And these guys thought they were going to win too. They expected to win. They were excited. And, um, this has been a crazy couple of days in the last 24 hours. And the last six hours has just been, uh, heartbreaking. Coming up in sports, we'll hear more from Coach Rhodes and Ed McLaughlin as the Rams become the first COVID casualty of this year's NCAA tournament.